Hello, wonderful people. I give you the final summary of today's uh, presidential election petition tribunal here in the proceedings today ended on a very good note. And before I proceed to give you the summary, the uh, tribunal of today has been adjourned till tomorrow, Wednesday, 31st of May, 2023. I'll go ahead to categorically say that the today's tribunal ended on a very good note. I would go. I would categorically go ahead to inform you that the P2B and Labour Party has succeeded today in presenting their first witnesses, and this is benched on the non-qualification of Bola Ahmed Tinubu and Kashim Shatima as a result of double nomination of uh, his vice, which is Kashim Shatima, as well as the drug trafficking conviction. Uh, in view of this, the CTC certified through copy of the U.S. court judgment on drug trafficking and INEC documents on the noble nomination of Shatima were admitted in evidence. And uh, afterwards, the petition was adjourned to 31st of May 2023, and that is tomorrow. So, in other words, I will categorically say that the Presidential Election Petition Tribunal of today admitted the U.S. court judgment as well as other documents tendered by P2B and Labour Party against Bola Ahmed Tinubu. You will understand that the judgment allegedly indicted Bola Ahmed Tinubu and ordered his forfeiture of 460,000 US dollars in a drug related offense. You know, the presidential election petition tribunal has today in evidence, evidence accepted the document tendered by the candidate of the Labour Party in the 2023 presidential election, and that is P2B, to defend his petition against Bola Ahmed Tinubu. Sequel to this, the witness of Labour Party as well as P2B was first examined in chief by J.S. Okutekpa, senior advocate of Nigeria, and he tendered the document contained in the schedule of the document from the bar. The witness gave his testimony and that was also examined and cross-examined by the councils to the INEC, Tinubu, as well as Shatima and APC on the noble nomination as well as narcotic money for future. Like I earlier pointed out, like I earlier pointed out, APC as well as Bola Ahmed Tinubu were duly represented today by Festus Kiamo, senior advocate of Nigeria, as well as other councils present. Before we ramp it up, we want to bring to you one of the interesting uh, occasions that took place in the court today. Tinubu's lawyer asked the witness that was presented by Labour Party, are you aware that a letter which was dated on the 6th of July 2022 was written to Tinubu by INEC consigning his nomination? The witness from Labour Party and P2P said, I am aware. Tinubu lawyer in response asked another question, are you also aware that there is a former clearance report written by Shatima to APC and APC as well wrote to INEC? Tinubu's lawyer also asked the witness, you seem to be interested in the U.S. matter. Are you aware of a former clearance letter dated February 4, 2003, issued by the legal attaché to the U.S. Embassy? The witness to Labour Party and P2B in response stated, I am not aware except if it was drawn to my attention. Labour Party's lawyer, I do not know whether a document not in evidence is being used to, to cross-examine a witness and your lordship are having them on record. My lord, you cannot cross-examine a Labour Party's lawyer. I don't know whether a document not in evidence is being used to cross-examine a witness. And he went further to say, your lordship are having them on record. He responded, my lord, you cannot cross-examine a witness with a document which is not made by the witness or shown to the witnesses. The judge, in response to this development, said, please let the lawyer finish first of all. Please revise your objections so we can make progress. The lawyer is not tendering any document. He is only asking the witness if he is aware of the document. In view of that, he responded that he hasn't given, he hasn't, he hasn't given or shown us any document yet. Labour Party lawyer, in objection to this, the document are altering the, my lord's record. The judge in this development stated that what does it matter if the witness has seen the record or not? There were some laughters in the court when this statement was made. Tinubu's lawyer, in response to this development, stated, My lord, he took five minutes out of my time. 
to the witness you are aware that all the proceedings were civil proceedings the witness in response to this responded civil for future Tirubu's lawyer in response to this uh, statement from the witness said they are civil proceedings the witness in response stated that civil pro civil for future proceedings there was also another big laughter in the court Tinubu lawyer in response said do you have the copy of the charge against Tinubu witness responded I didn't mention charge and I don't have a copy I am grateful Tinubu's lawyer responded all right you are a colleague when you finish come to this side there were another laughter within the court premises more so, you must also understand that INEC up to this moment has not given Labour Party and P2B all the documents that they require to prosecute their case at the tribunal. And for this reason, P2B's led counsel have subpoena INEC waiting for the court to persuade INEC to give them all the relevant documents as well as giving them access to the Beavers machine. It is quite unfortunate that even at this very material time, that the P2B and Labour Party are still begging, pleading with INEC to give them all the relevant documents that they require in order to go forward in this case. It is quite appalling that the election that they claim they conducted free, fair and credible, that they are yet to make all the documents with which the result announcement was made available to Labour Party and P2B and this is a very worrisome situation not only for Nigerians home but also for Nigerians abroad and for all the world at large. It is quite indeed unbelievable that INEC at this material time have re refused blatantly to give this document to Labour Party and P2B. However, P2B Labour Le Le Council is currently relying on the court to persuade INEC to make these documents available. These are the summaries of today's court proceedings and will continue to bring you transparency by tomorrow as the tribunal resumes again for the continuation of the hearing. Please, if you are joining this channel for the very first time, do, do, do not forget to like and share this video and continue to follow this channel for more updates. God bless you. statement by the way and the reason for the decision we'll get there and then we'll be able to do the decision thank you okay, go ahead mm -hmm. 
as you can see, P.O. himself and that our two great leaders, the leaders of the movement, the leaders of the obedient movement are well seated. The main action has started, guys. A lot of good news coming.